A lot of scrap material to build up over the course of just one week. Now, like I say, you can get any old uh, wood. It doesn't matter what kind of wood you use for the ashes for your fire roll. I think that hardwood works a lot better, like your oaks and your hickories and, and your beech. Um, but they all work pretty close to the same. Let's get some leaves off the ground if they're dry enough. And we'll go ahead and do a fire roll to get this fire started. Please go to my fire roll playlist. There are many how-to fire roll videos in that playlist. You'll find a link to the playlist at the end of this video and also in the description. Sometimes it's hard to find the end of a cotton ball to unroll it. And this would be one of those times. So let's just see how we can do in the wind here. Half a teaspoon. Ashes on the inside. You'll need a little bit spilled on the outside. So it'll get on the bottom board and the top board. Because the ashes on the outside of a fire roll allows the top board and the bottom board to grip the roll well enough that it can be driven without the boards just skating over the top of it and flattening it out. Now right, let's try to use this Bradford pear bow. It's not completely straight on the bottom, but I think it's straight enough. Now when you're using a round top board, you need to try to make a groove right in the center of it so that the fire roll will track properly. And I'm dealing with all kinds of irregular surfaces as you can imagine with this top board. And also my bottom board is cupped. But we'll chase it around. We should be able to get it to ignite. Keep rolling it until you see smoke coming out of it. It 
if it gets too tight for that amber to spread you're gonna have to just open it up try to open it up so Put you back on time lapse. I'm going to save these for later. That, uh, I'll probably come back in about three hours and we'll go ahead and harvest those ashes and try them out. All right, I don't know how this is going to turn out because we have such wind blowing. Let's go ahead and give it a try. The wind is coming down this way, so I will stand right here. And you don't have to strain ashes. I mean, let me show you what, you know, if you want to just use them straight out of the, the stove or the fireplace, it'll just be some hard pieces that you'll want to pick out before you use the ashes for, for fire rolling. I want to recreate one of my favorite videos of all time. I might have a hundred fire roll videos and my favorite one, I'll put a link to that one in the description, but the way that I did that one. The way that I did that one was using about a third of a cotton ball and fire rolling it with the blade of my knife. So I want to try to recreate that as we test these new ashes. In the wind, 
with all kinds of activity going on here at my house next door but I mean all I know is to just go for it is all I know let's fire roll about a third of this cotton ball you need ashes on the inside and the outside Get it as tight, as tight as you can get it. And then continue to tighten it some right here. You see I don't have much of a stroke. I only have like four inches to work with right there. So that means I have to bear down really hard with this hand and I have to go, I have to use a lot of speed to get ignition because there's just that little four inch stroke right there. Let's give it a try. Keep on rolling it until you see smoke. If you don't see smoke, go back and roll it some more. Needs more ashes because uh, it's slipping a little bit. Now let's try that. That's better. And I see smoke. Make sure you check that link out in the description for my favorite fire roll video that I've ever made. And it's where I use the old hickory butcher knife blade to top board it with. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one wheel. Catch you on the next one.